Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a non-Euro-American architect, Zhu Pei. First, let's begin with some personal background. Zhu Pei, one of the leading Chinese architects, was born in 1962. He received his master's degree in architecture both from Tsinghua University and UC Berkeley. In 2005, he founded Studio Zhu Pei in Beijing. Currently, Zhu Pei is the dean of Central Academy of Fine Arts School of Architecture, and also a visiting professor at Harvard University and Columbia University. In 2020, he was awarded the honorary fellowship of the American Institute of Architects. Throughout his career, Zhu Pei and his designs have received many recognitions. Some of them are listed here on the slide. If you are interested, you can check the complete list out on his studio's website. Zhu Pei's design approach is unique. His designs are inspired by local culture. Here, the culture is both visible and invisible. It includes, but is not limited to, the environment, climate, people's lifestyle, and also traditional building materials, building techniques, and building styles. Zhu Pei uses local culture as a source of inspiration and creates an integrated and innovative design. Without further ado, let's look into some of Zhu Pei's designs. The first project is the Cai Guoqiang Courtyard House renovation. It is located in Beijing, China, designed in 2006 and constructed in 2007. One highlight of this project is that the entire courtyard house was restored to its original condition using traditional materials, construction techniques, and local skilled craftsmen and builders. The overall layout of the courtyard house remains the same. Some changes are brought into different compartments. Demonstrated by photos on the right, the north compartment is defined as the three-dimensional installation. The old wooden structure is repaired and exposed to express its 30 frame. Demonstrated by photos on the bottom left, the middle compartment is defined as a two-dimensional Chinese painting. The white walls turn the interior into one continuous canvas. The south compartment is defined as a future space. It is a new building floating in the south courtyard, facing the traditional structures. It is built with the same scale and typology, using glass and steel. In contrast to the fixed traditional programs of the existing structure, this new space contains new modern programs, a flexible multi-purpose space. Its material, form, and function create a sense of contradiction and complementary. Reinforce the old and introduce the new. That is the main concept of this renovation project. The second project is the Museum of Contemporary Art. It is located in Dali, Yunnan Province, China. It is designed from 2014 to 2015. Started construction in 2016. The inspiration for the project comes from both surrounding nature and the Jason Temple. Here is a map of the site. The site sits on the bottom of a hill and faces the water. Despite its location being close to the Asian city, which is the most popular site for, to visit for tourists in Dali, the temple on site has been abandoned for a very long time. The goal of the project was to unify both temple and the museum and reactivate them. Three keywords the project uses are hidden, implicit, and integrated. Hidden. The majority of the building is located underground to ensure that the museum doesn't affect the beautiful scenery composed of the temple and surrounding nature. Implicit, Zhu Pei and his team tried their best to protect the existing vegetation and typography. The museum disappears in and out between the trees, which creates a sense of implicit. Integrated. The green stepped roof helps to make connections to the surrounding typography. This continuity of the landscape creates circulation between the temple and the museum site. For the exterior of the museum, learn from the Chinese garden idea, yi chi san shan. Rock-like elements are naturally dispersed on the stepped roof. In contrast to the natural materials on the exterior, the interior is designed as open and simple spaces to satisfy the needs of the art gallery. For example, these white walls are used to bring and receive、um, and reflect natural lights from the series of skylights. The design of the museum is an 
reflection inspired by the natural landscape and a reproduction of a simple, poetic, and pastoral life. Zhu Pei hopes that the design of the museum will capture the characteristics rooted in Dali's natural landscape and historical context, and also echo the past. The third project is the Jingdezhen Imperial Kiln Museum. It is located in Jingdezhen City, Jiangxi Province, China. Designed from 2016 and to 2017, finished construction last year. The museum is located in the historic center of Jingdezhen City. It is adjacent to the Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty imperial kiln ruins and surrounded by many other ancient kilns. The kiln has entered the city history as an architectural form and also as the building materials. The kilns have a unique form of an eastern arch. This form is used in Zhu Pei's museum design as well. Also, in the past, when kiln brick can no longer store heat, it will be removed from the kiln and used in the construction of the residential structures. Thus, it is natural that the kiln brick is used as a motif of the museum. In the museum, there are different sizes and mass brick arches. They create a relaxed, casual, and natural atmosphere. When walking across the multiple kilns and courtyards, people will have a unique special experience. Like Zhu Pei himself explained, the ruling of the old kiln and the immortal memory of the people are the natural source of inspiration of the Imperial Kiln Museum. The relations of kilns, porcelains, and people are the treasure of Jingdezhen City. Zhu Pei has once said, architecture is built for specific people, places, cultures, and climates. Architecture is not only about space and form, it is also about culture and experience. What Zhu Pei brings to the Western canon is that the culture-specific design. Zhu Pei returns to the basics of the history of a city, digs into the local culture, builds a connection with people, explores the site and surrounding, researches the climate and other conditions, and then designs creatively. Design inspired by the local culture makes Drew Pace's work fascinating and appealing. Thank you.